So here we have a IGBT um, device, a um, MIG uh, 200 uh, Q101H. It's a dual uh, device. And um, we've uh, built a uh, pulse width uh, modulated pulse uh, circuit to essentially connect it up in this configuration with a light and we've got the light uh, set up here across this part of it and we've got the pulse width modulator um, feeding this circuit so that uh, the power which is uh, positive here and negative here with the lamp going in between when this device turns on the light comes on So over here is the pulse width modulators, just a 555 timer set up in a little oscillator mode uh, with the variable uh, pulse width. You can see there uh, the LED, which when I adjust the potentiometer dims and gets bright. It's just a visual indicating indication that the circuit is working. And then we've hooked up the IGBT in a test mode. Um, you can see the one uh, half is connected and uh, that's our lamp over here LED running from a 12 volt power supply um, the IGPT itself needs a higher voltage than the, either the NE555 or the lamp is happy with so we're running a separate power supply for that um, and so what I'm going to do now is uh, turn that power supply on and they can see that that light comes on Pretty bright and when I adjust the potentiometer you can see that it gets quite dim and gets bright again so that um, is obviously working quite nicely and um, pretty happy with that the next step of course is to connect up the other half of the IGBT and switch the load around so that the um, the top uh, portion is actually tested out to see if it works or not and uh, then we'll go from there that's all for now so as in the uh, first part of the video where we had the one channel of the um, IGBT hooked up I've now hooked up the second half of the IGBT with the control lines here on the second half uh, identical to the um, original configuration what I have, however, done here because I found difficulty in testing um, the second half of the IGBT by simply moving the load over to the other half of the circuit. So um, the first time we did it, we had the load here and syncing the current through this second uh, uh, IGBT to turn the light on. By m moving the lamp from here to here and and trying to turn this one on doesn't seem to work well and so what I did was mirror this circuit by taking the load and taking it from the positive up high so feeding the positive into the circuit into the IGPT connecting this point to uh, ground um, and so then the voltage is across there and turning on the second IGPT allows the current to flow through the lamp to ground and it comes on and off and so as you can see here same as before when we turn that up the light gets bright and when we turn it down it gets dim so that's um, working quite nicely don't completely understand why that other configuration doesn't work but it seems that because the grounds are coupled um, across the device back through to this circuit that there's some short circuit configuration or voltage, strange voltage thing that goes on. Um, but nonetheless, you can successfully test both halves of the IGBT by placing the load above uh, the device at the collector and the emitter going to ground and then doing the same thing there. And that essentially tests both halves of your IGBT. So this now enables me to move on to trying to test the IGBTs um, in my uh, Toyota RAV4 EV that I 
the Levi have a problem with. So um, we'll follow that up later.